Hello, everyone, and welcome to what is my favorite thing to do, which is to highlight my favorite clients on my client spotlight. So today I have Alice Ann, and I am super excited to have Alice Ann here because she's an outstanding leadership coach, and she's also an incredible entrepreneur owning multiple businesses, and she is just so incredibly wonderful, and I'm really excited to have her here today so that you can learn more about Alice Ann and and then also how we were able to work together over the last couple of months to basically streamline her entire sales process so she could spend less time selling and more time serving her clients and doing things that she enjoys. So with that being said, welcome Alice Ann. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I'm so excited to be here and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh my gosh. No way. We're going to have so much fun. It won't feel nerve wracking at all. <laughs> so why don't you give us a little introduction about yourself so that my audience can get to know you? Sure. Sure. Thank you. So I have been an educator and entrepreneur for almost 20 years. I feel like it was just 1990. So that went fast. So my background is in education and I started my first business before my daughter was born because I couldn't find anything that aligned with my education and my values as a parent. And so I think a lot of people that can really resonate with them that we start a business because we feel passionate about something thing, right? Yes. But then getting into the business, I learned that running a business is actually like really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. And through the process of it, I learned that I loved the ins and outs of business. I loved everything involving business, building a business, marketing a business. I, I just loved it all. And so people started reaching out to me for help, not just in the education world, but other businesses. So then I decided to go back and become a certified professional coach, specializing in small business, entrepreneurship, and leadership. So that's where I am now. I love their story. So just to make sure that everybody understands, because she didn't like the childcare option, she literally created preschools and daycares. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> Maryland, so yes. that her children could be cared for at the level that she would like. And I think it really says a lot about you as a person and an entrepreneur. I mean, that is such a huge undertaking. And it's just, what has it been, 20 years now, you said, right? Well, it's been 17 years. So, 17 so daughter's going to be a senior in high school now. Okay, 17 years. <laughs> and that is just the most incredible thing. So tell me what inspired you as a successful entrepreneur owning these preschools to then go into coaching? I get asked this a lot. And, and to be like completely transparent, like it always goes back to the kids. It always does because preschool children have the highest level of anxiety and many people don't know this, but preschool children have the highest level of anxiety of school age children of, of children. And they don't really have like the coping mechanisms to, to deal with that anxiety and with that stress. And so I was like observing the parents and, and I noticed that a lot of the parents didn't have the coping mechanisms to deal with the stress and the anxiety. So they weren't really modeling to their children what that was. And so, you know, and I know we're in 2021, but even in 2004, when I started this, it was typically the moms coming, dropping off their kids, going to work, doing, you know, doing their thing. And the moms were just so frazzled. I mean, so frazzled. You talk about mom guilt, working mom, traveling. I mean, I just learned from you earlier, Michelle, that you you were like getting on a plane every Monday, right? Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> so like the moms were like dealing with all of this pressure of being these like professional women running their businesses. Many of them were so successful. They were entrepreneurs. They were lawyers and doctors and like just such successful women and they were completely falling apart because they didn't feel like they were in charge of their life. They felt like they were failing as a mom, failing in their business, all of these things. And I was in it too. I had two small children. I had poured myself into my business. 2008 hit, the market crashed, you know, the world turned upside down, nothing like COVID, but yes. But still, trauma. Yeah, just because you were in real estate, it kind of felt like that. <laughs> Maybe it felt like that. And I was on the brink of losing my business and my world was just kind of spinning out of control. 
And I had to take a hard look at myself and my values and how I was showing up in life and who I wanted to be, not just as a mom, not just as a business owner, not just as a wife, but as a woman, as a woman in charge of my own life, because you only get one. That's all you get. Yeah. Yeah. One shot. <laughs> one shot. One shot. There's no do overs here. So I had to go through this kind of like journey of, of rebuilding myself and, and realigning myself with what I wanted. And through that, it wasn't that I just started to feel better, but my business started to thrive. My children were thriving. My marriage was thriving all because I decided to get in the driver's seat of my own life. And so I think people started to see that and they're like, what are you drinking? Like, what's going on in your life? I and, want that Kool-Aid. <laughs> and I was so excited. I was so excited about finally feeling like successful in my life and proud of who I was. And, and trust me, I was not a perfect person. I was making all kinds of mistakes in managing people, showing up as a leader. I was frazzled. I was tired. I was burnt out. And I just felt so passionate and empowered that I knew other women needed it too. And it was going to come back and they were going to then model those skills to their children, changing the cycle. Really, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. And then leading ladies has emerged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love, I love the name of your Facebook group, your brand, like everything, like leading ladies is so classy, so on point, And it really describes like exactly what you do. And I love that when you came to me, you have six or 7,000 people in your Facebook group mm -hmm. and you have a podcast. You just released your book, like so many amazing things going on for you in terms of lead generation. And I remember having that conversation with you about working together. And I looked at your Facebook group. I was looking at all your content and I was like, this is going to be fun because all we have to do is activate your audience and mm -hmm. really sell out your coaching business and pre-book for future, which we can talk mm -hmm. about later, if we just have a little bit of a system in there. And I think a lot of times when people come to me for this type of help, they worry like, well, I don't want my audience to think I'm salesy. I don't want my audience to think I'm pushy, all of the things. And so I purposely have created the sales funnels that I teach so that they don't feel salesy. And it's an empowered yes that yeah. that person can make to work with you if they choose to do so. So if you could tell us a little bit about your journey creating your email course that we did together. So I don't know how I stumbled upon you, but I did. And I just remember thinking like, I'm doing so much, but every time I want to like enroll my masterclass or, or something, I feel like it's such a painful process. I'm not salesy at all. I'm telling you, alcohol, makeup, and children, those are businesses that you never need to advertise. People will find you. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so good. I'm going to quote you on that one. <laughs> I'm serious. People are always having children and they need, they need childcare. So selling preschool spots, you know, as long as you have a quality product and deliver, your reputation will build and you will do great. So I, I wasn't used to the marketing of it, but showing up as a coach and then having to market myself. Yeah. I was like, no, thank you. Like I'll, I'll just say it in passing. Oh, by the way, I'm a coach. Yeah. You can work with me. And it was like, oh, I look back at it and I'm like, every client I got prior to Michelle was probably just like a fluke or an accident. Like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a lot of flukes and accidents. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I'm also introverted. So it's like really hard for me to be like, hey, like join my program, blah, blah, blah. And so I've even started to have people say like, why don't you promote your services more? Like, how do people know how to work with you? And so I reached out to you. And I'm also somebody that I don't like to like dilly dally. So I think I kind of took you by surprise. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I'm not looking for like a several month program. Like, can we get this done in like four weeks, please? So one of my taglines is to be a, re a resource, not a sales pitch. And you really embody that. Like you're like, Alison, you're putting out so much stuff. You don't have to sell it. You just have to package it so that people understand the resources that you're offering. And so going through the writing with you and understanding 
you know, how to automate things, how to systemize things and, and how to be really clear about my message instead of the, Hey, let me slide a cocktail napkin across the table and maybe you'll want to work with me. But now it's like so automated that I feel like my conversations, they are genuine. They, they truly do come from my heart. I wrote every single thing together. You know, I did that. It's not like you spoon fed me these cliche words to say, but I really mean it from the bottom of my heart, but it's said in such an articulate and clear way that the people are like, of course I want to work with you. I need this. This is exactly what I've been looking for. I almost felt silly. I'm like, why wasn't I doing this before? You know, why didn't I have these systems before? So oh my gosh. I love the system. So tell us the title of your course and what it's about. So it's balanced leadership and it's just a five day mini course that walks you through identifying your leadership presence, where you struggle in leadership and how you can take purposeful and intentional action to shift yourself into balanced leadership. I preach, you really can have it all. You really can. You just have to have intentional shifts of focus and learn how to prioritize how you spend your time and where you put your energy. And that's really what's going to give you overall life satisfaction and fulfillment. So it's balanced leadership. I, I was excited writing it. My keyboard was on fire, but now that it's done and it's getting out there, you know, people are, are downloading it. Women are downloading it every day. They're excited about it, but it's like they get to the meat of who I am and what I can offer them in that very short five email sequence. And they know exactly what to expect. It's like that visibility and then that credibility right out the gate. Yes. And a big thing why I love it is, especially for introverts, is it's written word. So yes. it feels really good to write it, to put it out and let the email sequence do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to sales. I'm obsessed with reading and learning and all of the things. And a stat that I recently read was that it takes 11 interactions or up to seven hours of content to sell something service related like coaching or service providers, right? So you have an option. You can either burn yourself out by doing that manually every single time to build these relationships or you can create an evergreen asset that works for you in your business to really automate and accelerate the know, like, and trust to make sales so much easier. So could you tell me what your experience was like from the leads that came directly from your email course, right? Into fulfilling your masterclass. How are those sales conversations once you got them on the phone different than the ones you've had in the past? You know, my problem was never closing the sale once I got them on the phone. It was getting right. them on the phone. But because there was this slow trickle and it had like a call to action at the end of every email, people were booking those discovery calls with me faster. I actually had two that signed up without the discovery call. Like they, they were like, oh. they, through it and they were like, uh, yeah, we don't even need to talk. We just, just take my money. Oh and my then, gosh, I love it. Wait, we cannot skip over that because that's pretty amazing. That's everyone's dream is to send out an email sequence and have people check out for a high ticket offer through an email. And you, you know, all those fun apps like HoneyBook or Square and you get the like little money, ching -ching, like cash register sound. I was literally like sitting with my family watching a movie and I hear ching, 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 ching. And I pick it up and it's like, I'm like, what, what just happened? Like, what, what she paid in full? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is literally the online entrepreneur's dream experience yes. right there. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, that it, I think I, what did I say to you earlier this week? I'm like, Am I doing something wrong? Did I miss something? Because this is really flipping easy. And yes. But it wasn't easy. I I, I don't want to be flippant about that in that the writing part, you you got to be clear. you got to be clear in your writing. But having your support and knowing that you were looking over it, you were saying, hey, let's tweak this. Let's really get just make sure that that's really concise. Um, helped. It helped the confidence, you know, to put that out there and then just trust the process to yes. really um, just believe that that what I was putting out there was good stuff. And, you know, so that that last masterclass, it sold out pretty quickly. I, I think I, I started really talking about it 
and it sold out in like five days. I was starting to feel a little bad. I was posting like every day, ring the bell, ring the bell, ring the bell. <laughs> Just so what everyone knows inside, when you work with me, I have um, a client only Facebook group and we ring the bell, which means every time you make a sale or you have a win in your business, you get to ring the bell and tell us all about it. So yes, Alisan was packing up the feed there for a few days with all of her amazing sales, but mm -hmm. it inspires us all. And it also for people still building out their course, it's like it gets them excited to keep going to see how discovery calls time can be reduced and how you have to do a lot less selling during discovery calls. So that heavy lifting's off. Plus you can check out via email. It's just such an empowering thing for people to see you. So I'm glad that you do it because yeah. it really motivates everyone. Yeah. So that one sold out in just a few days. And then I actually already have a wait list for my next masterclass that starts in a couple months. So I had a bunch of people schedule discovery calls this week. It's like you already know that they know that you have a product that you're selling, you have something. So it's not like, oh, how am I gonna awkwardly insert this into the conversation? No, they called you because they want to know more about the product that you have and the services that you have. Yep. So the, the conversation was very smooth. It was very natural, very organic, and she signed up. And like you said, I did have a big audience. I did have a big following already with that. I, that I have nurtured that for the last yeah. four years, but they weren't activated. Like many of them didn't even know why they were in the group or who was running the group. Like it was just like, oh, this is fun. But now that it's activated, it does feel like it has a lot more purpose to it and that I'm actually serving that, that group. So. Yes. And that's the key part. Like a lot of things that I say all the time is activate your audience, monetize your audience, and then be able to live out exactly why you started your business. Like mm -hmm. sales is sales. You have to make sales in a business. You cannot avoid it. If you don't like sales, find a way to like it because you have to, right? Mm -hmm. But if you reframe your thoughts around like, if I sell, that actually means my impact grows. That actually means that I get to help more people, right? Mm -hmm. So like that reframe I think is so important and something that I love to repeat over and over again just so that people who are a little bit shy of sales can reframe their beliefs saying, wait, I'm called to do this. It's my responsibility to sell so that I can change all of these lives. So can you tell us a little bit more about your masterclass? Yes. So I actually run four a year. This year, I'm, I'm only running three because I took time off to work with you. Do you know how scary that was to like hit pause, to walk away from that income and say, I need to really get my systems in place. Yes, it's, that's I terrifying. Hear all the time. So if you're on the fence as to whether or not you should pause your business, I always say you're either working in your business or on your business, and you, you really need to devote time to working on your business. But taking that time off to work with you, to get my systems in place, to get my, my C series done, it's just been amazing. So I run four, sometimes five a year, and they are a six month intensive group coaching program. Each cohort is only nine entrepreneurs or women in business, uh, leadership. They're the decision makers of an organization. And it's a mastermind and group coaching to really identify your leadership presence understand the neuroscience of it. I'm also certified in positive psychology. So we, we, we learn about how the brain works and why we think the way we think and what our triggers are and what our blocks are. And then the final component of that is I partnered with a director of operations, a certified director of operations, and she walks you through the seven strategic business objectives to actually create a strategic map of what you're going to be doing with your business over the next four quarters. So pulling all three of those pieces together, the collaboration, the network, the community, the support, you get private coaching with me each month. It's pretty powerful, pretty powerful. What I love is that it combines the leadership and the coaching and the transformation in conjunction with an actual deliverable. Like the strategic mapping is so cool. And that is something that anyone who wants to be growing their business should be doing to make things easier. I can see the visual of like all the post-its on the wall coming together in a nice, beautiful way with a plan so that you can actually take action. Yeah. And so I'm sure that everyone who takes the master classes sees so much value, not just 
just in the coaching and the leadership transformation, but being organized mm -hmm. and on track by the end of those, you know, six months together. So that's mm -hmm. pretty darn amazing. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to say before we wrap this up? I'm so thankful for you, Michelle. Like, I love that our paths crossed. I think that signing up and working with you was the best thing I could have done. It broke me out of my own limiting belief about sales. And, you know, coaches need coaches. And I'm so glad I found you. Oh.